Hello to all my lively ladies. You're very welcome back. My name is Trish and you're very welcome to my YouTube channel. So are you ready to go on a walk with me today? I hope so. So this is our 30 minute low impact hit cardio walking workout. Right, I'm just started already. I'm getting myself warmed up. So when you're ready, join in with me here. I'm just marching forward and back and getting my arms going as well. Okay, so today we're gonna to work, it's a little bit different. Our intervals today are 20 seconds of walking or marching and 40 seconds of doing a full body exercise. Okay, you can use weights if you want, to add a little bit of extra resistance if you feel like it, or you can just do it body weight. Okay, so let's march it out here and crisscross in front. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm retracting my shoulder blades. So that just means I'm bringing them slightly behind there, bringing them together, just bringing your shoulder blades together behind your back there. I'm bringing my elbows right back, full range of movement. Now, if these arms are too high, maybe you have a little bit of an impingement going on or a shoulder injury, or you just don't have the mobility, bring them down in front of your tummy. Now, if you can, you can reach them right up over your head and that'll get your heart rate up a little bit higher for you there. Okay, so keep going now. That's it. 10 more with the arms. Keep your legs moving. All right. Okay. And five, four. Keep those legs going now. Three, two, and one. Okay, now march it out. Really pumping the arms by your waist. That's it, draw those elbows back behind you. Let's get nice and warm. You can work the room if you have space. Use it up, why not? That's good. Now let's change up the legs. We're gonna do some heel digs. So dig and dig. Press your heel in nice and gentle. And we'll hammer curl the arms now. That's it, good. And you can bend your knees slightly just to take pressure off your knee joint. That's it, good. You should feel your heart rate coming up a little bit now, getting blood circulating to your muscles, ligaments and joints, lubricating the joints, keep you safe for while you work out. Okay, let's change this up now. So in about four, we're gonna do some leg curls to hit those hamstrings. Four, three, two, and one. Now, curl back, push the arms back, good. Now, if any time during the workout you're a little bit confused by all these limbs moving around, <laughs> Just keep the legs going, that's more important because they're larger muscle groups and they uh, will keep that heart rate up for you, okay? Keep it elevated and keep you warm. That's it, kick your rear. Watch out for any obstacles around you. You're choosing dumbbells, make sure you don't have them on the floor. Okay, put them up on a piece of furniture. Good, now there might be some exercises where you don't want to use the dumbbells. You might find body weight's better in that case. And if you're going to do that, maybe have a chair handy or a cabinet like I have and just put the dumbbells up high so you're not always bending down to pick up weight because you might just forget and round your back. No injuries, we don't want any injuries. It's good. Now leave out the arms. Let's double up the legs, okay? So four, three, two, and one. Now two here, one, two, and other leg. One, two, and one, and two, good. One, and two. So kick and kick, kick and kick, and kick and kick. Two more each leg. Good. Last time, both sides. Take it back to a march then. Okay, now march it out. That's it. Now push out your chest. That's it. Or push out your hands to work your chest. Push and pull. Now you're working your back muscles as well because those muscles work in pairs. So we're working opposing muscle groups here. And that's what you should do when you're working out. Balance out your training all the time. Push and pull. Good. Let's change it into bent arm lateral raise or pour the water out of the jugs. That's it. High elbows. Pour all the water out. That's it. Good. Keep those legs marching away from me. Good. Rest the arms now. Okay, three, two. Keep the legs going. One, rest the arms, hands on hips. Now we're gonna go out into a, a mini side lunge. Don't overdo it in your warm up. Four, three, two, and one. Just step it out, step it out. That's it, chest high. I'm keeping the range of movement short here. Just so my inner thighs 
wake up a little bit. <laughs> so particularly if it's a morning workout. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer if you've just got up out of the bed. That's it, good. Now, see if you can get your bum down just that little bit lower. Good, drop your hips, that's it. Keep your chest up though. You're feeling that little pull on the inner thighs? Yeah, okay. Don't over stretch there. Now these are dynamic or ballistic stretching here rather than static stretches, which won't get you warm really at all. You've got to keep that body moving, get your heart elevated. That's it. Good, let's do two more. And last one. Now just take it back a little march in the middle and we're just going to kick and kick. Now where are you feeling this? Yeah, the higher you go, the more hamstring you're going to feel the back of your thigh. A little bit into the calf as well. And of course your abdominals. You feel those abs working hard. Good, kick and kick. That's it, well done. You can get those arms moving as well. You can reach out in front. Give yourself, your feet somewhere to aim. You don't have to go too high. I wouldn't recommend it in the warm up either. So down here is fine if you haven't got the mobility. Or you're working on your mobility. That's it. And work on those shoulders. Good. Now, let's reach up. Reach up. Pull those elbows down to your waist. Good work. That's it. You're getting your breathing up there. Yeah. Mine's starting to come up now. Once you reach those arms above your head. Let's do 10 more with the hand. arms. 10, 9, 8, 7, keep those legs moving now, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, kick out, kick out, that's it, 4, 3, we'll take it back now to our march, 2, and 1, okay, let's march it out, big stretch, reach right up to the ceiling, oh, this is lovely, stretching out all those cracks and creaks in your spine <sighs> nice big move over the head and again if you haven't got that range of movement just bring it out here do what you can do okay now i'm going to press timer so it's going to go our walk is first 20 seconds then straight into our full body move and that is for 40 seconds so each interval is one minute long and then we move straight back into the next one which will be the walk so the walk will always come first and if you're fati feeling fatigued you can walk out march out the whole minute okay all right let's go okay we'll press our start okay let's go now with our walk that's it so 20 minutes the workout's 20 minutes the warm-up i estimate there i think it was about five minutes or so and then we'll have our cool down all right so now we're going to go straight into step touch and chest press that's move two okay so step touch the 20 seconds goes really fast all right so I have to be on our toes here today that's it step touch chest press keep you on your toes these moves right now push and pull back that's it big big range of movement full range of movement here this is for 40 seconds now and that will complete the minute good so push and pull push and pull that's it pull back good now we're going to go back to the walk and then we'll have some uh, squat pulses okay so we're toning and shaping our backside our rear that's it good now nice big walk if you want you can take this up into a light little skip light little jogging type move if you want it's only for 20 seconds so the interval's quite short squat pulses are next now good work open those legs now, sit into it now keep your chest up that's it watch you're not looking at the floor you're looking forward keep your eye on me you can even use your thumbs just gentle little pressure under your chin not much though don't throw your neck back and you can see you keep your back nice and straight now pulse 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 good come on 40 seconds you feeling this in your thighs yeah glutes that's it keep going press the weight into your feet you have less than 10 seconds hang in there come on back to a walk we release the legs 
keep going three seconds come on you're just there well done well done okay that was hard okay walk it out now we're going to team this up with pendulum and bent arm lateral raises that's pouring the water out of the jug we did it in the warm-up so our shoulders know what's coming up that's it good take it up into a little skip or jog if you feel like you'd like a little bit of impact okay now so pendulum legs first that's it now arms arms good keep that heart rate up for me that's it well done big deep breaths now you can make the move smaller if you wish okay or you can make it bigger that's it good you're getting nice and warm now body's responding remember we're going to take it back to a walk after our 40 second interval good keep going come on just there now reach up squeeze those shoulders for me well done okay walk it out now next one we've got a squat and wide knee raise keep walking though for your 20 seconds good you can move off the spot if you like feeling full of energy now that's it good it doesn't take much just to get up and get going okay squat it out hands behind the head wide knee raise that's it we work those obliques there those side twisting abdominal muscles good and lift sit into your squat now good squatting technique again for me that's it lift up sit down lift up make sure your knees track out over your shoelaces or your toes if you're barefoot or in socks that's it good press the weight into your heels that's it come on sit reach sit and crunch okay let's walk it out good now we have side step so just stepping out to the side and we've got some side raises or lateral raises coming next okay good keep going come on these walking intervals are quite short but we have them throughout the whole workout so they'll add up to a good amount right side step step it out that's it now lateral raises both arms together good and I'm squeezing my shoulders here okay I'm not flapping my arms like a bird I'm squeezing I'm squeezing that's it I'm engaging my shoulders <sighs> tap out you can make the move smaller if you like if your balance is put off a little bit there by big moves <sighs> good keep going keep going come on we're taking it back to a walk <sighs> that's it Ooh, feeling the shoulders burning a little bit okay walk it out a little skip if you like you can even keep the skip pretty much no impact just going from toe to toe just a little shuffle of the toes you're not even lifting them still that bounce brings that heart rate up march it out we don't want to do that knee raise our rainbow arms next so knee raise knees up knees up reach up and arms down arms don't bang your elbow off your knee and if you feel strain in your back make sure that knee raise is a little bit smaller don't bring your knee over past your belly button okay just watch your back don't arch your back no hyperextending the spine so don't lean back keep your spine straight good Ooh. really feeling now breathing coming up these big big body moves full range of movement good that's it let's walk it out take it to that little skip if you like that little shuffle skip or even into a full out jog if you want because again it's a very short interval what have we got coming next skater lunges so we're going to step back just stepping back like this okay there we go step back keep that heel up don't force it into the floor let's do some big arms yeah big arms open up your chest there you go you're working those posture muscles push back keep breathing for me well done that's it keep going come on that's it you feel those shoulders are starting to ache a little bit 
hang in there we're just there now good okay walk it out now we're going to team this up with uh, touching the floor now I really do stress to you do not have to touch the floor okay if you find that's just too intense for you leave that out okay all right come on get those arms going we're going to reach up to the ceiling okay so you can touch the floor and reach up if you want that's too intense just uh, come to here reach up that's it reach up good it's like our squat thruster move but our legs are kind of very close to each other here like a ski squat that's it working different muscle groups that's it always mixing it up for the body good keep your muscles guessing even if you're doing like the same moves all the time you can make them different just use a little bit of imagination that's it good keep your back straight here now send your tailbone to the floor good well done now walk it out we've got some straddle steps next with this walk want to take it up into a little light little shuffle skip pretend you have a rope in your arms good nice straight spine here well done now you remember your straddle step two feet out two feet in two feet out two feet in you're keeping breathing from you're not holding your breath good that's it and you can bend your knees a little deeper like you're going on and off a step here so down off the step up onto the step that's it good well done keep going that's it use those arms to power up the body just there now less than 10 seconds that's it come on you can do this down you're feeling those glutes working you really feel it on this move that's it now walk it out choose what walk or what you'd like to do here that's it you can even bring in some arms squat thrusters are coming next remember your good squatting technique okay okay let's get ready to thrust so sit your hips back now this is a great one if you're using dumbbells even light weight here oh it's wonderful this really really is a, a great calorie burner here gets you really breathless even body weight good this is a great one to team up with any uh, cardio type aerobic type exercise keep that heart rate elevated burn lots of calories that's it come on keep going chest is high reach up pressing the weight into your heels good work okay let's walk it out 10 minutes all right walking it out okay now we have side steps with low punch now again i know these moves low to the ground are very challenging just bring your body weight up if you can't get down low okay so now you can get right down if you really want to make the move really big or you can stay up here now 40 seconds yeah it's long enough with some of the moves reach now punch out that's it punch punch get down lower if you want add a little hop even there in the middle make it a little bit more high impact if you want to it's up to you how are you feeling today good that's really going to get me breathless now step it out to the side good and you can mix between the, the two there as well all right we're walking it out now okay next move now we're going to step it out to the side i'm just adding some arms here we're going to step it out to the side reach down with our hands and then come up and step out to the other side okay so step it out to the side reach down up and over good that's it really working those glutes today you can feel them working hard there behind me sit back Oops, that's it sit down good work keep your chest up now that's it look forward good nearly there 
Good. We're going to walk it again. That's it. Good work. There you go. Well done. That's a nice, actually, fun move. It gets the butterflies flowing a little bit in the tummy. Okay, let's walk it out. We're going back to a step touch now. And we're just going to bring the elbows down to meet the, just down to the waist. Okay. Okay, come on, let's make the most of this 20 seconds. Oops, over already. Right, step touch. Now, elbows to knees or elbows to waist. You can make this move small, or you can make it really big and bring those arms up over your head and keep your heart rate quite high. That's it, good. Pull right down, make the move bigger and faster. There's plenty of options. Slow it right down, okay? If you feel like you won't last the whole workout if you do, do too big range of movement or go too fast, slow it down. Reduce your range of movement. Okay, good work. Lots of ways to intensify the workout for you. Okay. Now we're going to walk it out, we're walking it out here again. Oh, we've got knee raise with opposite arm. Okay, so stay on the same side just to keep it basic, keep it simple for you. So knee raise this side, that's it. Let's start with the knee raise. Now bring in the arm, that's it, good. Knee raise and arm, up and up, good. That's it, keep going, we'll do the other one next. Reach up, pull down. Now you're going to really feel your standing leg here. Good, your hip flexor this side, abs. I'm feeling the abs because I'm going to have to keep my spine straight. Shoulders and the stabilizers in the other leg. Good. That's it. Reach up. Reach up. Good work. Okay, now we are going to walk first. Sorry, walking it first. Okay, let's keep the same sequence. That's it, good. And then, then the other side. So remember which arm was up the last move. Okay, walk it forward and back. That's it. Run those arms by your side. There you go, okay. So knee raise, other arm. I'll get the leg going first, that's it. And you can bring the leg out a little bit to the side. I think that really helps with balance. Reach up, pull down, pull down. Reach up, pull down, good. Nice tight abdominals, that's it, good work. Reach and pull, reach and pull. Good work. That's it, come on, keep going. You can again, you can speed it up or you can slow it down, it's up to you. Reach, good, you're doing great. Keep moving your body. Okay, let's walk it out. Whew, that was good. Now we have a sidestep shoulder press next. We've got more shoulders, but they're going to get a breather here. That's it, good. Again, if you're lifting those weights, that's great. You might want to rest out with some of the moves and just go body weight. You might feel like, yeah, I can do this. Okay, now shoulder press. That's it, sidestep shoulders. So it's the opposite to our step touch. So the legs are going out, working those outer, inner and outer thighs. Good. Shoulder press, so you can move off the spot if you like. Make it a little bit more cardio, getting your cardio in, yeah. That's it, good. Well done, keep going, come on. Just there now with this 40 second interval. Reach and pull. Okay, good work. That's it, now keep your spine straight. Walk it out. Come on, we can bring up our steps a little bit, our toes here, our knees up a little bit. A little bit faster move if you want to. Back lunge and arms are coming next. You're gonna step back and then we bring in some arms. So step back, step again, heels up. Now point your thumbs up, that's it. Thumbs up. So what's that all about, thumbs up? That again just hits different areas of your back. It's amazing just putting your thumbs up in the air, how that changes up an exercise for you. That's it, so up, up, step it back, good. Now don't look at the floor. I know you're slightly bent at the waist, but keep your eyes focused ahead of you. 
Good. Keep going. Come on. Walking it out any second now. There you go. Now we've got some donkey kicks next. So I'll just show you those. There are these guys. Kick back and then we'll uh, bring in some arms. All right, but for the moment, we are walking. Good. Come on, have fun with this. You're doing a great job. You're 17 and a half minutes in already, nearly. Kick, kick, kick. This is a nice move. We can, if you do it properly, and I know it doesn't look like a huge range of movement. I think if you go too big, you might fall over. You might want to leave out arms and actually hold on to something. Okay, but you can really feel your glutes if you contract them as you kick your foot back behind you. That's it. Squeeze your bum. Squeeze that large glute muscle there, one that we sit on and massage most of the day. It's good to wake it up and let it know it has a job to do. That's it, good. Okay, Ooh, that one surprisingly gets you out of breath. All right, keep going. Do you want to take it up into that little skip shuffle? Toe to toe, gentle. Arms by your side. We've got a knee raise and reverse fly coming next. Okay, so knee up, knee up, and then reverse, reverse. That's it, and again, the thumbs are out. Ooh, really hitting those back muscles. Try not to do that though. Remind yourself to keep your spine straight, okay? Just use something that's gonna help you picture in your mind how to keep your back straight. I always think uh, plank of wood down your top or a broomstick works really well. That's it, you can't go back too far, or you're up against a wall. That's it, good. Just something to keep you from bending back too far. Good. Well done, walk it out. Now we're into our last move, I can't believe it. That was so fast. Walking it out here. Now we're gonna do a grapevine next. Yes, we're finishing, we're going out with a bang. I'm gonna make my way over to the side. Grapevine and bring in some arms. Without the arms, if you find grapevine a little bit confusing. But again, it's just stepping behind, feet together. Stepping behind, feet together. And I'm bringing in my arms, just crossing in front of my body. This one is nice, it flows nicely. Good. And step behind, feet together. Well done. That's it, keep going. You're just there now. We've done a great job completing this workout. Chest is up for me, right to the end. A few seconds to go. Keep going, come on. Okay, well done. Excellent job. Whew, you keep moving there. I don't know about you, but I'm quite out of breath after that 20 odd minutes. Okay, 25 minutes or so. Well done. Good work, okay, let's get a few bonus steps in here. I hope you enjoyed that workout and uh, that format I did today, I really thought that was nice. I know there was no rest, it was all go, 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 but the workout itself was quite short. So, uh, but you are always welcome to take rest, you need to pause the video, have a, uh, 60 seconds, keep marching around the room, have a sip of water, come back in when you feel you're ready or you can just take the 20 seconds and turn it into a 60 second walk. There's plenty of ways to bring rest into your workout without saying, okay, that's enough for me, I'm done. Give that a go, okay. Open those legs wide for me. Let's go side to side, side to side. Good, just bringing that heart rate down gradually. Slow it down, that's it, good. Slow your movements down. Well done. Great work. Now let's open the legs a little bit wider and go across. Now, can you reach your toes? If not, just come on up onto your knee. Try not to rest on your knee joint though. Find that fleshy part of your leg. We'll get these toes to face 12 o'clock as well, face to the front. If you can get to the floor, go ahead. Walk your way over. That's it. Good. Hold for a few seconds. I'm, I'm actually just going to kind of do some ballistic type moves here where there's a little bit of 
movement rather than statically holding it. You can do both if you like. You can hold it for a couple of seconds. But I like to mix it up for the body as well. I find the dynamic type stretches are a bit more true to life. That's it, good. And over. Good, now hold it in the middle. We'll do a static stretch here. Now push your knees back behind you, okay? Now what you've got to imagine here, there's a string on the back of your knees and someone's pulling the string back behind you there. So your legs are pretty straight. Maybe the slightest bend in your knee. Good work. That's it. And if you can get your palms flat on the floor, that's great. If this is way too intense for you, you can decrease the intensity by bringing your hands up off the floor onto stacked towels, a coffee table, an exercise step. Good. Now, how do, how do you get out of it? I like to walk my hands forward. You can either do a little hop in or just gently walk your legs in and reach up to the ceiling. Now let's stretch out our waist, our tummy. Rest your hand on your hip. Bend over to the side. Uh, feet are about shoulder distance apart or maybe a little wider. You might even have to go wider than that. Good, reach over. Back to the start, abs in now before you bend anywhere, particularly your spine. We can reach your hand down your leg. That's it, good. Reach that arm right up over your head. Relax your neck. It's a lovely, lovely stretch. Come back to the middle. Let's stretch out the chest now. So you're interlacing your fingers, you're turning your palms away from you. Back is straight, abs are engaged. And you're widening between your shoulder blades now. So you're protracting, you're taking them further apart this time rather than retracting. So it's just the opposite. So we're just stretching nice straight arms. That's it. Nice long limbs for stretching. Nice, just a slight bend in the elbow. See if you can push away a little further. Good. Up over the head for tummy again and shoulders. Nice stretch with the trunk. I like doing this one lying down on the floor and grasping, you know, grasping something, maybe the underside of the radiator, a couple of heavy weights, you know, something that's not going to move on you even get somebody to hold your hands, but just communicate with them that they don't start yanking and pulling your shoulder joints. Just be careful. Good, now reaching around, reaching around. Again, a more dynamic stretch here, but again, more true to life really, isn't it? Good, reaching around, reaching around. Now go the other way, around and around. And around. Let's do some calf, so ballistic or dynamic. That's it. Good. If you want to hold on to something here, you can. So just going up and down, getting blood circulating around to the lower part, part of your legs, the lower part of your body, keeping your circulation healthy, which again, as we know, is something really important as we get older get, and get on there in the years. And also, if you, if you find yourself that you sit a lot, maybe you sit for work, or you're, you just find yourself sitting down a lot in the day, it's good to get up and do these type of moves to get your blood circulating around again. And then, of course, you can always hold the stretches as well. Pushing, press your heel back there behind you. Keep your neck relaxed and just put a bit of pressure on into the door of the wall there. It's amazing how just pushing your hands in to the door of the wall actually increases the stretch in your calf. That's it. Good. And you can make the stretch a little bit harder by um, making the stride in your leg or widen your legs a little bit more. Push your foot back there behind you a little bit more and then switch around. That's it. And you might feel really, really, really tight when you do this stretch first. But um, if you're stretching correctly, doing your breathing, being patient, you will feel that tension wear away. If not, it's just an area you've got, you've got to work on. You've got to be at it all the time, every day, nearly every second day. 
that's it good and just i'm going to increase it a little bit here as well just the slightest um movement of my foot there behind me i just pushed it back a little bit so i've increased the distance between both feet that's it good now i'll just go back to some ballistic stretching just in case you feel a bit of tension there just get it out of your legs and I'd like to say big thank you for joining me today. You did wonderful. I hope you enjoyed that workout in that type of format. And keep yourselves hydrated. Now let's uh, let, let your body, your muscles heal by drinking water as well as eating good foods. And I will see you back here really, really soon. Bye bye.